In this video, we're going to learn about the sum and constant multiple rules for differentiation. First of all, let's write down the sum rule. The sum rule says that if we differentiate a sum of two functions, say f of x plus g of x, then the result is just the sum of the derivatives of those functions. So essentially, we can distribute the derivative operator over sums. So whenever we want to differentiate a sum of functions, all we have to do is differentiate the functions separately. So let's go ahead and practice this on some examples. We want to compute the following derivatives. First, the derivative of x squared plus x cubed. Now, using the sum rule, we know that we can just split up this derivative, just make it the derivative of that first term, x squared, then plus the derivative of that second term, x cubed. Now, using the power rule, we know that the derivative of x squared, all we have to do is bring down the exponent, 2, then x, and decrease that exponent by 1. So 2 minus 1 is just 1. It's really just 2x. Same idea for this x cubed. Apply the power rule, 3x squared. So there we go. That is the derivative. Now in the next example, we have 1 over x minus 1 over x squared. And the sum rule also works with subtraction. So we can go ahead and split up this derivative into just the derivative of the first term, 1 over x, then minus the derivative of the second term, 1 over x squared. And now it's just up to us to compute each of the individual derivatives, which is a lot easier. So we want to get this into a form where we can apply the power rule so let's write these terms as powers of x. 1 over x is just x to the negative 1 power. And then 1 over x squared is just x to the negative 2 power. So applying the power rule to get the derivative of x to the negative 1, just bring down that exponent. So negative 1 x and then decrease that exponent by 1. So it goes to negative 2. And then minus, same idea, bring down the exponent, negative 2 and then decrease that exponent by 1, so it moves to negative 3. Now let's go ahead and simplify this. So x to negative 2 is just 1 over x squared, so we have negative 1 over x squared, and then minus negative makes positive, so plus 2, and then over x cubed. So there we go. There is our derivative. Lastly, let's compute the derivative of the square root of x plus 1 over the cube root of x. Our strategy is again just to go ahead and apply that sum rule to split up that derivative. So we're just differentiating the first term and the second term independently on their own. And in order to differentiate each of these terms, what we have to do is write it in the form where we can apply that power rule. So root x is just x to the one half, writing it as an exponent, and one over cube root x, um, why don't we take this in steps? Why don't we first just write it as 1 over x to some exponent? Um, the exponent is 1 third. And then let's go ahead and let's simplify this second derivative before we go ahead and evaluate. So x to the 1 half plus d over dx. Let's write this as just x to a single exponent. So negative 1 third. Get that out of the denominator. And now we have a form where we can go ahead and apply that power rule. So 1 half, bring down that exponent, times x, decrease that exponent by 1. So 1 half minus 1 makes negative a half. And then plus, bring down that exponent, so negative 1 third x, then decrease that exponent by 1. Negative a third minus 1 is negative 1 and a third, which is just negative 4 thirds. Now let's go ahead and try to get this back into root form. So first of all, let's get the x's with the negative exponents in the denominators. So this is one over two x to the one half, and then minus one over three x to the four thirds. And now we can go ahead and write these in terms of roots. So this is one over two root x, square root x, and then minus one over 3 times the cube root of x to the 4. And there we go. There is the result of our derivative. 
Next up, let's talk about the constant multiple rule. So the constant multiple rule says that if we want to differentiate some constant times some function, so c is a constant, f of x is our function, if we want to differentiate that, we can just factor out that constant outside of that derivative and just apply the derivative to our function f of x. So derivative of a constant times a function is equal to that constant times the derivative of the function. Now one thing to be very careful of when applying this rule is that this rule is stated where c is a constant. We can't factor out any variables outside of the derivative. It has to be just some kind of number like 1, 2, 3, negative 5, pi, 8 thirds, whatever you want. It can be any of those numbers, but it can't contain any x terms. All right, so let's go ahead and use this rule to compute the following derivatives. First of all, we've got the derivative of 2x to the fourth. Applying the constant multiple rule, we can go ahead and factor that 2. That's a constant. We can factor it outside the derivative. So just write it as 2 times the derivative of x to the fourth. Now we know how to differentiate x to the fourth. We can just use the power rule. So this is two times, use the power rule, bring down that four exponent and then decrease that exponent by one. So four x cubed and then multiply it out. Two times four is eight. Then we've got our x cubed. And there we go, that is our derivative. Let's try in the next example as well. Derivative of negative three over x. First step, let's pull out that constant. The constant here, uh, we've got a three, we've also got a negative sign. So really we can just pull out a negative three. So it's negative three times the derivative of one over x. And now this derivative of one over x, we can go ahead and get that into the form where we can apply the power rule. So negative three times the derivative of x to the negative one write that as x is some power. So that way we can go ahead and apply that power rule. So negative three times, bring down that power, negative one, then x, and then decrease that power by one, so negative two. Now negative three times negative one makes positive three. So three x to the negative two, and x to the negative two is just one over x squared. So put that in the denominator and get three over x squared. And there we go, there is the result, that's our derivative. Third example, we want to compute the derivative of five divided by root x. Well, again, all we have to do is factor out that constant. So factor out five, five times the derivative of one over root x. And we can go ahead and write that derivative of one over root x. We can write one over root x as one over x to the half to get an exponent on there. Now let's just write this as x to some exponent, no, no fraction at all. So we can write that as the derivative of x to the negative a half. So we go ahead and differentiate that using the power rule. That's five times that exponent, negative one half, then times x, then decrease that exponent by one, negative a half minus one is negative one and a half, which is negative three halves. And we can go ahead and uh, simplify this up. So five times negative a half, that's just negative five halves. And then x to the negative three halves, that's one over x to the three halves. Let's go ahead and multiply this through. So there's a negative sign. And then in the numerator, we've got just five times one, which is five. In the denominator, two times x to the three halves, so two. And then x to the three halves, let's go ahead and write that in root form. So square root of x cubed. And there we go, that is our derivative. Here's our final couple examples. We want to compute the following derivatives. First of all, we want to compute the derivative of three x to the fourth minus two over x cubed. All right, so first of all, we notice that this is a difference. And we can go ahead and use the sum rule to split this derivative up over this difference of terms. So we can write d over dx of the first term, 3x to the fourth, then minus d over dx of the second term, 2 over x cubed. 
Then we can use the constant multiple rules to get these constants out of the derivative. This constant 3 will move that outside. So 3 times the derivative of just x to the fourth. And then minus, the constant here is 2, so minus 2 times the derivative of 1 over x cubed. Now let's go ahead and compute these derivatives. So we'll need to get them into the form where we can apply the product rule. So we'll need to get them into the form where we can apply the power rule. First of all, this x to the fourth is already in that form, so we need to focus on this 1 over x cubed. Let's write this as just x to some exponent. That exponent will be negative 3. So we'll just rewrite this whole line again. So minus 2 times the derivative. Now we write x to the negative 3. And now we can go ahead and apply that power rule. So let's see. So 3 times derivative of x to the fourth. You just bring down the 4 decrease that exponent by 1 to get 3, and then minus 2 times derivative of x to the negative 3, and we just bring down that exponent, negative 3, times x, and decrease that exponent by 1. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. And now we just go ahead and compute. So 3 times 4 is 12, 12x 12 cubed, then minus 2 times negative 3. Um, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, and if we're subtracting that, that's really a plus. 6 times x to the negative fourth power. And let's go ahead and clean this up a bit, get just positive powers on x. So we'll move that x to the negative fourth power into the denominator, 6 over x to the fourth power. And there we go, there is our derivative. All right, so looking back, we can probably speed this up a bit by just combining the sum rule and the constant multiple rules into a single step because really we are just splitting that derivative over each of these terms and factoring out whatever coefficient is on each term. So in the next problem, let's go ahead and try to combine that into a single step. So we'll go ahead and split up the derivative over each of these terms, but we'll also go ahead and factor out each coefficient from each term. So first of all, just looking at this first term, negative nine over two x, the coefficient there is negative nine over two, negative nine halves. So we'll pull that out negative 9 halves, then times the derivative of whatever remains, and that's just that 1 over x. Now we close that derivative because we're separating the derivative over different terms, um, and now we just go ahead and do the same thing for the next term. So plus, what is the coefficient here of cube root of x over 4? Well, coefficient is just 1 fourth. This is like a fourth times cube root x. So fourth times the derivative of cube root of x. Now let's go ahead and write these derivatives in the form that we can apply the power rule. So negative 9 halves, and then we want to write 1 over x as x to an exponent. So x to the negative 1, that's the exponent that we want. And then plus 1 over 4 times the derivative. What's the exponent corresponding cube root of x? Well, it's just 1 third x to the one-third. Now we go ahead and apply that power rule. So we've got negative nine-halves, bring down that exponent, negative one, x, and then decrease the exponent, negative two, then plus one-fourth, bring down that exponent, one-third, then decrease that exponent, one-third minus one is like one-third minus three-thirds, which is negative two-thirds. And now let's go ahead and simplify this up negative 9 halves times negative 1 is just 9 halves. And then let's also write this x to negative 2 as a positive exponent. So this is really just 1 over x squared. So that means that x squared belongs in the denominator of this fraction, x squared. So this first term simplifies to 9 over 2x squared. And let's do a similar thing for the next term. So plus uh, 1 fourth times 1 third, that's just 1 over 12. And then we'll go ahead and bring down this x to the negative exponent, make that exponent positive, so x to the two thirds. And then lastly, let's go ahead and write this in cube root form, because that's how the expression was originally phrased. So 9 over 2x squared, that doesn't change because the exponent is a whole number, but this 1 over 12x to two thirds, since this is a fractional exponent, use cube root, the denominator was 3, 
Um, so cube root of x to the numerator 2. All right, so there we go. There is our derivative 9 over 2x squared plus 1 over 12 times the cube root of x squared. So now we know how to apply the sum and constant multiples for differentiation, and in the future we'll continue to learn more rules for differentiation so that we can differentiate even more complicated expressions.